In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove background in the laziest way possible using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Ruel here back with another video. Before we start, I would like to thank Fotor for sponsoring this video. Fotor is an online editor, which means you don't need to download or install anything on your computer. You can just go to fotor.com, upload your picture and start editing. Here I can use their background removal tool to easily remove the background of my photo and then I can change my background. I can use their already available backgrounds or I can upload a picture from my computer. Once I'm happy with it, I can click on apply and download this photo as PNG or a JPEG. Another feature they have is batch photo editor where I can upload multiple pictures and edit all of them at once. I can do tasks such as cropping and applying text. Once I'm done, I can download everything as a zip file, which is very convenient. So check out Fotor if you're looking for an online editor. Now on to the video. So the tool I'm gonna use is Object Select tool. Uh, you can right click here in your selection panel and you should find it. If you don't, then you need to update your version of the Photoshop. Select the tool and you should have this button here, select subject. Now before we do it, let's have a simple overview of the tool. Here you have your object finder on. So that means that when you hover on your subject, Photoshop will let you know that, hey, this is what I think the subject is. And when you click, this is something uh, of proximity, what I will select. Another option here is the refresh. So this is something uh, you can use to tell Photoshop that hey can you scan the photo again because the first time it didn't work or for whatever reason so you can refresh the selection this one I will show you in the next example and then you have this gear icon here you have this again auto refresh and manual refresh so this is basically this control when it's on auto you don't need to refresh it uh, Photoshop will take care of everything so I like to keep it on auto for overlay option, here I have this color because it uh, easily stands out in front of the green background, but you can change it to whatever you want. So let's make it indigo and now it's something like that. This outline option, I don't understand it. I don't know how it works. So if you know about it, let me know in the comment section below. And this is opacity, so pretty simple explanation. If you make it 100, this is how the overlay looks. And if you keep it lower, this is how the overlay looks. Uh, and these three are basically overlay options. So here I'm gonna go, if I go and select like all visual overlay, doesn't matter now where I hover my mouse, it will just stay there. And the same with ne never. So no matter how I hover my mouse, it just will not show. So again, I like to keep it on auto cause it keeps my life easy. Now these two buttons, I will show you in the next example. We are going through multiple examples, so don't worry about it. For this, let's do the most straightforward process. You have your photo, you get, select your tool, and then all you have to do is click on select subject. Selection is done. Now just go and simply click on your layer mask icon here and it will remove the background. Now, of course, we don't know how good the selection of hair is until we put the background. So I'm going to file and I'm gonna select plus embedded and here I will select my background and I will place it. This needs to be under the model. So I'm gonna go at this layer and put it, under, put it under my model. Then control T and make it big. So as you can see, the selection is pretty good, but the hair actually doesn't look the best and it's pretty easy to fix. So this is where the refine hair option comes in. Now, when you have selected your uh, object selection tool, it's actually already there, like a here, select and mask button. If you don't see it for some reason, you can also right click on your layer mask here. So you right click, select and mask is the same option. So you go here and here you will find the second button of the process, which is refine hair. So all you have to do is just click on it and Photoshop will fix it just in case if it doesn't fix, that's why I actually picked this photo because here it doesn't do the 100% job. So in that case, you will also need to click on decontaminate colors. So when you click on it, Photoshop will remove the unnecessary colors 
and it will match better with the background and you can also control the amount how much you can apply so i usually like to keep it between 50 to 70 percent okay i think 80 looks better and then hit okay so that's how you can remove almost any background in photoshop now all you have to do is fix the color and lighting and you're good to go now let's apply the same technique but on a non-human subject that is also transparent so my tool is selected i'm gonna go click on select subject now this is where we run in a problem because Photoshop is scanning the entire photo, it's also picking up this uh, steam and also portion of the table, but we can actually avoid it. So I'm gonna remove the selection. I will go to select and deselect. Now, uh, this is where this uh, rectangle and lasso tool come in really handy. So you select it, and then now I'm gonna actually just make the selection exactly on the top of the cup, doing my best to not select stuff outside. And as you can see, Photoshop did much better job at making the selection. However, there's still problem here, which we can easily fix. So this is where we will use the lasso tool. And this is where this button is very important. So when in your gear icon, make sure that the object subtract is turned on. See, this is what happens if it's off. Let's see. So I wanna remove selection from here, right? So I will select this third option, which removes the selection. And I will try to remove it something like this. So when I do it, as you can see, Photoshop just practically removed wherever I drew. It didn't apply any artificial intelligence on it. However, if I control Z, I go here and I uh, turn this on object subtract, and then I will do the same thing again. And as you can see, this time Photoshop actually did much better job at separating cup from the table. Now I can go and apply a layer mask and the cup is cut out. Not only that, but you don't have to always use your selections for removing the backgrounds. Uh, for example, uh, if I want to make uh, everything black and white except the cup, now I have the selection. I just go here and then I select my hue saturation and I will make it black and white. Now to, because I want to invert it, I will select my mask, press control I and everything is inverted. Took less than one minute. Now in this photo, as you can see, if I hover, Photoshop is already showing me what it thinks, you know, what uh, about selection. However, I can also turn on this button and Photoshop will just, it will just stay on and it will show me all the objects and everything at once. It can be, it can be useful in certain situations. And this is also the situation where this rectangle tool can be a bit helpful. For example, I just want to select this lady in the yellow top. So all I have to do is now just make a selection on top of her and then Photoshop will do its magic and she is selected. Now if I want to add in this person, so I'm just going to go and select on add selection button here and I will draw a rectangle on top of him and there we go, selected. And of course, as always, you can go and just click on select subject button and Photoshop will select everyone at once. But as you can see, it didn't do the perfect job. So now we switch to the lasso tool for more manual control. And to remove selection, I will select the third button and then I will just paint on top of it. So the selection is done and we can apply a layer mask and everyone is selected. Now you can do all sorts of things with this selection. For example, I wanted to add more blur to the background and it took me only two minutes to do it. So in this example, uh, when I select my tool and I go to select subject, Photoshop will most likely select the person sitting on the ledge because artificial intelligence thinks that this human is the subject. However, I don't want it. I actually want to make the selection of this circle so that I can replace the sky or add something behind him. So for that, this method actually works pretty simple, uh, like accurately, the rectangle one. I'll just take this and I will make a selection exactly on top like this. And surprisingly, Photoshop actually understands what I'm trying to select. And now I can just refine this part and add anything in the background. So if I apply a mask, as you can see, that portion is selected. So I can select my mask 
and then press Control I and that is gone. Now I can add anything in the background that I want. So not the best output in the world, but you get the point like how quickly you can start working on your projects. On the other hand, this effect does have its limitation. For example, in this photograph, I could remove the subject easily with the pillow. However, if I wanted to remove hair from the pillow so that I can, you know, apply some pattern or change the color of the pillow, uh, it just didn't let me. No matter what I do, it just, it didn't work. So for in this situation, I will definitely need to do uh, something like uh, different kind of masking, pen tool or brushwork. So yeah, it's a really fantastic method, but it does have its limitations. So that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.